Hey everybody! Well, it's that time of the month again. Uh, time to do our financials for the month of July. Um, I'm going to change things up a little bit. Usually I do the month-to-month -month comparisons starting from December 2016 it's when I first started monetizing. Um, if you're interested in that kind of comparisons, just check out my uh, playlist and look for uh, YouTube Paychecks. And then I've got one for every month with the comparisons of the past. Uh, for this month, I figured I would just throw out the numbers and then kind of go over my year-to-date expenses uh, for running this YouTube channel. Uh, I've just recently cycled uh, 50,000 subscribers and 10 million views, which was a huge milestone for me. So I figured uh, you might find it a little more interesting to know what's it cost to run a YouTube fishing channel uh, once you start kind of upgrading stuff. So anyways, let's just kind of review the numbers, get that out of the way, and then I'll list my expenses that I've got so far. So we ended up in for July ending at uh, $1,801. So solid month, very happy about that. Uh, views was 1.352 million. Um, this part concerns me, another drop again. Um, I think about 13 cents, 12, 13 cents drop from last month, and then uh, which was a drop from the month prior, which was a drop from the month prior, which is a drop from the month prior. So just not good. Um, I need to start kind of figuring out other revenue streams to kind of offset this drop in revenue, uh, especially in the CPMs, because I could do my part in getting the views and all that stuff, but they're just paying less, so that's becoming a concern. And then my subs for the month was about 5,000 increase. So very solid month uh, with the exception of that CPM. I'd be a lot more happy if it was in that $2 range, but I think those days are gone. But anyways, let's take a look now at uh, my expenses for running this YouTube channel. All right, let's talk about expenses. Now, I've been solely doing income, 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 but to be honest with you, if you're not taking a look at your expenses, okay, regardless of how good your income is, you can be really big trouble if you're not uh, keeping an eye on your expense side. But uh, this is just a breakdown of the financials for running the YouTube channel. This doesn't include any of the actual fishing stuff. That part of it, I'm gonna spend regardless of YouTube or not, so I'm just keeping that separate. But just primarily to do this YouTube channel, these are kind of the expenses that I've used so far. Um, and I'll give you a good gist of my style of YouTube channel and the types of videos that I put out and the quality that I put out, what it takes to do that. So we're starting off, I initially started by getting a GoPro 3 Black. Um, backstory to that was I was primarily just wanting a camera so I could post uh, fishing reports on the Florida Sportsman and I had my uh, iPhone for work but I didn't want to risk destroying that so I needed a camera so I can take pictures of it but then I brought my attention hey why not just do a GoPro because you can do screen grabs and it's totally waterproof and then you can do some YouTube stuff, videos, so I ended up doing that. So I first started out by going on eBay and buying a GoPro 3 Black used um, for $185. It was basically the original package, everything there, um, but they also included a um, the remote control, but uh, though I never used it, but and I, that was $185. And then I dropped another $100 in accessories, uh, extra batteries, memory cards, the uh, chest mount, head mount, that kind of stuff. Then after later down the road, I ended up getting a GoPro Hero 4 Silver. That was actually a gift from David. You'll see some of his my older videos with him in it. And that was for teaching him how to fish down here in the Keys. And that's basically roughly around a $450, probably $500 package. It was one of those where you get the GoPro, but then you get all the accessory stuff with it as well. And then I dropped another $50 for, I think it was like that painter's pole and some other little knickknacks to uh, subsidize that. Then around this last Christmas, I ended up picking up the Panasonic G7, which is the camera that I'm filming with now. It's a micro four thirds DSLR camera. 
and uh, I spent around $500, which was an excellent deal. I got like a $50 gift card on top of that and a free bag. So it was one of those Christmas time only specials. And then I uh, added another $350. I bought extra lenses, two extra lenses, and then um, some more memory cards, batteries, that kind of stuff, tripod. Then uh, just recently I picked up a water wolf. That's the underwater camera where you can see the fish biting and the lures and stuff for 120. Um, I've had to pick up a couple of extra hard drives for backing up all these videos and then as well as in adding some uh, RAM to my work computer so I can utilize that uh, with the multiple monitors makes it a little bit easier. And then uh, I actually just this last week dropped a hundred bucks for some uh, editing software. I got the uh, Premiere Elements and the Photoshop Elements as a package for a hundred. Um, prior to that, for the last 460 videos, I did it all on GoPro Studio, but however, they discontinued it and then all of a sudden it got really buggy. Like it was buggy before, <laughs> but then it got to the, like it wasn't even usable type buggy. And then, although that was a bit more than I was wanting to do because I just do basic editing, um, I'm finding out it's, it takes a little bit more work to do a video, but it never crashes. So I don't have to do things two, three, four times, reboot the computer because it locked up and so forth. But uh, anyways, that was an upgrade. So my total input to this YouTube channel is sitting at right around $1,500 right now, but that doesn't include that $450 that David gifted me. So it could be closer to 2000 if you want to look at it that way. Um, how I grew the channel was that each one of these has made a significant, especially the camera upgrades. The GoPro 3 Black was great for getting me started with the fishing stuff, single camera, I did lots of videos that way. However, where it lacked was no audio because of the case on the water or very bad audio. And um, I couldn't do these talkity talk videos or they were really rough. So if you look at my first month's worth of videos when I started the channel, you can see it's really rough, but uh, that improved as I improved the camera stuff. But then I added the GoPro 4 Silver and what that did was got me audio on the water because it has that touch screen backing so um, sound can get through it to the microphone. So I, got de I get decent sound on the water and that improved things significantly. Then picking up the Panasonic G7 really helped the, prof the professionalism of these type of videos, the talkity talk ones and the, the catch and cooks, basically anything filled at home, filmed at home, I use this camera and it's really good quality. I've got the lapel microphone, the shotgun microphones, and as well as lighting. So that controlled side of it is just a huge jump in regards to the professionalism of the videos. And then the other stuff are just kind of necessities. But anyways, that is just kind of, I just wanted to show just so people kind of can understand what it takes and the backside of it. Um, if you're doing a channel and you're thinking about really getting into it, I mean, no, you don't have to buy exactly what I have, but I consider the stuff that I have equivalent to like my fishing style. I want stuff that works. I don't need gold plated, platinum plated, top tier name stuff so I can wear their t-shirt around and look cool. I just need good solid equipment that does the job and I'm fine with it, okay? And that's kind of where I would say I am with my YouTube equipment list here. Good solid stuff. Um, I would say I, with the exception of probably like the Water Wolf, I could probably cheat the software because I have been. But outside of that, a couple hundred bucks, I think all of those are really solid investments and really have helped out the channel. And I would not be where I'm at if I didn't have those upgrades. But anyways, hopefully you found that helpful, interesting, what it, whichever, whatever. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.